Hello guys, in this video I'll be showing you some basic sidearm tactics to use in airsoft. This is how you can pie a corner with two people. We recommend that you don't both pie it at the same time, but instead have the first guy pie and shoot followed by the second. When you pie, you should keep the end of your barrel about a foot away from the corner. Slowly move around the corner with one piece at a time, like you're fidgeting. Next, we'll show you how to peek a corner. When you do so, you can get close to the corner, and just pop the littlest amount of yourself out you can manage. Engage, and then sneak back in the corner. With two people, you can both peek at the same time if you want, by having the one guy shoot low and the other shoot high. Now Justin will show you the best way to hold a pistol for the best stability and accuracy. So, I'm going to start on this side. For our pistol grip, you're going to want to have your right hand, or your dominant hand at least, just gripping the grip of the pistol like you naturally would. And then with your secondary hand, in this case my left hand, you can either, you don't want to put it down here because that's not a very stable grip. That's a antiquated grip called the cup and saucer grip. It's not very stable. You want to put it up here, having your fingers kind of interlock like that in between each other. And then there's two things you can do with your thumbs. Either you can tuck your dominant thumb under your uh, passive thumb, and that's known as a weaver grip, or you can have them on top of each other like this. Now another thing you can do with a pistol is you can have your passive finger on the trigger guard and a lot of guns will have a uh, straight or a flared out trigger guard and make it easier to keep your finger there and you can just leave it there and then have it like that. And again you can have your thumbs however you want them. Now with any pistol grip the main purpose is to stabilize the gun. And a, part, a big part of stabilizing the gun is how you're holding onto it with your grip. With this hand, your dominant hand, you want to be pushing forward. And your passive hand, you want to be pushing back. So that way it locks that pistol into your grip. 